I'm going to Rome, Italy today. So we are in sight of the Colosseum. So aesthetically pleasing, like the place in itself is beautiful, but like the food is so cool. Now we're on an activity with the EF school. But right in front of me is the beautiful Spanish steps. Hey guys, happy Saturday. We are on our way to the airport because he is dropping me off. It literally doesn't feel real at all. I'm going to Rome, Italy today. We're actually going to stop at the varsity because I want to take a picture with like my passport and all my suitcase and stuff like that. And I heard there was a really good view of like the city over there. At least I hope so. Um, so we're going to stop there and take a picture before we go to the international airport. Also, Ryan got a haircut. He buzzed off all his hair. And Is that good or what? funny story, I tried cutting his hair because I cut it like um, another time and he actually liked it. So I was like, okay, let's cut it again. Like I can do it. I'm so and happy that my personal barber. Yeah. And then, and then I messed it up. And <laughs> she was supposed to cut like a two guard to the middle and she went all the way up with it. Yeah. And I was like, it doesn't look that bad. So I you know, wore the haircut. She gave me for like two days. Yeah. And I was just like, I can't do it. Too bad. Sorry. Yeah, so we had to buzz it, <clears throat> but it should grow out fast because his hair grows really, really fast. Mm -hmm. If we ever have kids, our kids are going to be so hairy. Like, I'm Indian, got that Indian hair gene. My hair grows crazy. I always and grow he's chest a... hair in like seventh grade. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm low key really scared to travel alone this far. Like, I've traveled to like California and like, you know, places inside the States, but never to like a different country alone. And I don't know, it's just a really long flight without any parental supervision, I guess. I did pack snacks. I got popcorn, apples, granola bars, and all that stuff. And I think they do give you like a meal on the plane, if I'm not mistaken. I also downloaded a lot of shows on Netflix. I downloaded Jane the Virgin, season four is on Netflix, and I've been binge watching it. I'm like halfway in right now, so I just have like seven more episodes to watch. But Ryan's actually been watching it with me, and he says he like actually likes it. Yeah, that's why we were in episode eight she fell asleep so yeah. i saw him i don't know what you don't know damn yeah but yeah. we won't give any spoilers but it's a really really good show like drama packed af so it's definitely like recommend. over dramatic it's like funny it's yeah dramatic. yeah true and i'm too proud to ask for help when you see me beside yourself i don't have to explain it baby yeah i'm both a We have arrived at the varsity. turned out so cute thanks to Ryan for taking them. Time for Italy. We get to get out. Time for Italy. Gonna miss you. Gonna miss you more. So I just got to the host family's house and they're all really really super sweet. We just had lunch and we had like pasta. We're eating pizza tonight. I'm definitely going to be eating a lot of carbs this trip. You know, when you're in Rome, gotta eat like the Romans do. It's currently 2pm and they're going to show me around at like 6pm-ish. Um, so I don't know, they said I could like sleep right now but I don't really want to because I'm not trying to like 
let the jet lag hit me like I really want to like overcome it so I don't want to like sleep this whole trip away but I probably will take a little nap just because it is my first day but I feel like I slept a good amount on the plane also their place is so so nice like my room is actually really really big and their bathroom is super pretty like I'll show you around let's go so don't mind my mess that I already made but this is the room that I'm staying in I have my little bed over there and it has like all the storage which is really cute and yeah hey guys i just got ready just did my makeup just did my hair it feels so nice to not feel shitty you know because like when you're traveling you just feel kind of gross i ended up taking a nap i knew i was gonna fall asleep because i was watching youtube it was definitely inevitable but it was also very needed so i'm glad i actually went to sleep so I realized I didn't even tell you guys why I'm in Rome. It's like super loud out here. I'm here with EF Language Centers and basically I'm on this two week trip to Rome and I'm gonna be learning Italian and all about the culture. So that is why I'm here and my first day of class is tomorrow. Actually it's like orientation so technically not really my first day of class. But um, yeah, I don't really know what to expect. Like I would have been in contact with the EF people and they've been telling me like you know what to kind of expect but it's kind of like sorority recruitment you don't understand until you like go through it yourself so for my vlogs that is kind of my main goal is just to like show you guys what this program is about and how my experience is if you guys are interested in doing like one of these trips like a two-week trip or like a study abroad or like a gap year or anything like that you can get 10% off of any program with um, my code Sonali in Rome or just mention my name Sonali and yeah so that's pretty cool the link will be in the description box below if you guys want to check it out so I'm with my host family right now we're gonna go get dinner where are we going you just stay there I just got back to my room. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along on my first day in Italy. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning for the first day of classes. Good morning guys. Happy Monday. It is May 28th and it's currently like 7 10 a.m. Um, and I actually have to be at school at 8 30 a.m. and I just like didn't want to go alone the first day so Alessandra actually is school and she had to leave earlier than me but I was like you know what let me just like leave with you because her school and my school are actually like close together so we'll probably get off at like the same stop or something like that I was just kind of nervous to do it on my own because yesterday I was just so distracted with like seeing everything for the first time I kind of forgot to like actually like look around and make sure I was prepared for today. We made it to EF. Just kidding, I think they only open at 8.30, so I think I'm gonna have to wait to open those doors, but look at this view right outside the school. It's crazy. Thank you. 
only when the Roman Empire won. No one wants that the future person remind something that the Roman Empire lost, okay? So uh, this is of Marco Aurelio, one of the Imperatori, but the most famous oh. is Traiano. Hey guys, good morning. It is May 29th and I'm just getting ready, recurling my hair. But I didn't end the vlog yesterday because when I got home I was so tired. I had dinner, then worked on my computer for a little bit and then went straight to sleep. Jet lag definitely hit me. Yesterday I went to get a Tim card with one of the girls in my group and I was like literally like falling asleep in my chair waiting for her. So hopefully today will be better. Um, jet lag wise because like I went to bed at like 10 but then every night I keep getting up around like 2 a.m. and then literally can't fall back asleep until like 3 or 4 which sucks like I'll have my eyes closed and like won't actually go into deep sleep until like two hours later which I don't know it's like the worst thing but yesterday we walked around a lot so that's probably all the b-roll you saw yesterday and we saw the Pantheon which I think that's how you pronounce it um and it was really cool because it has like a hole in the top of the ceiling and it kind of like lets light in and it shines the light on a specific like part of the inside if that makes sense it's kind of hard to explain i also had my first lesson yesterday and i'm not gonna lie it was really hard because they kind of teach it like a college class i remember in spanish in college she wouldn't speak english she would just like speak spanish when she was teaching spanish and that's how they kind of teach it here so it's kind of hard for me but since i did take spanish for like four years in high school and two years in college um the languages are a little bit similar so i can kind of pick up on some things especially like when they're going slow which is nice most of the time i'm kind of lost but yesterday we learned like numbers nationalities um what else oh the verb to be and to have which is like probably the first verbs we've we learned in like spanish today i have four classes back to back but i do get out a little bit earlier and then hopefully i'm going to do some sightseeing and after that at 6 30 we have like the welcome drink which i'm excited about to meet more people so that should be fun i'm also really surprised that i got home and got off on the right um bus stop because i was like really worried the transportation here is a little bit weird to me it doesn't announce like the next stop it doesn't have anything like when you're sitting in the butt um train that tells you like what the next stop is so like you really have to like be aware and like kind of like look outside and like know where you are which sucks for me because i've only been here for like a day <laughs> but if you do come here alone my recommendation is if someone showed you around definitely take pictures of the surroundings and the bus stop name because then you can just get off and like check where you are i think today i'm gonna leave a little bit later because yesterday um i got there at 8 30 or like even earlier than that and the school wasn't even open and classes only start at 9 so i think i'm gonna start getting on the bus at 8 10 because i'm not really sure how long the bus takes in the mornings um so i might even get there earlier today too hi i'm taylor i'm from america i'm sarah I'm from spain i'm Sweden. <laughs> And we are at this panini shop and it was like six euros for both a panini and a juice. So we just got out of class and we are going to the bus stop. Coliseum. Yeah, we're gonna go to the Coliseum. We're getting on the bus, so it's good luck to us. Yeah. So unfortunately the buses were all late, so we waited there for a while. We're just gonna walk now though. We are on Una Pasajeta. A walk. A walk. Yes. <laughs> so we are in sight of the Colosseum right there. Yeah, this is so pretty. This is, I don't, I'm not really sure what this is. Piazza Venezia. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Bye. 
We made it to the Coliseum. Ooh, it's so beautiful. It's literally humongous. It's insane. I was saying that like the White House, you think of it as so big and it's so teeny. But like, yeah, this is actually humongous. So we're gonna try to like get a picture on one of these walls because we saw it on Pinterest and we're gonna find this wall. All the bloggers take pictures <laughs> on it. So we're gonna try to find it. Let's go. Look at this water fountain. Oh my God, I just stepped in a puddle, but. It's probably the coolest water fountain I've ever seen. Hell yeah, this is it. Oh my god, perfect. This is so cool. So we just Pinterest did some uh, inspo and we're gonna take a picture right here. We even um, influenced some other people. Yes. <laughs> Ginger, that's a restaurant that we're going to be eating, eating dinner at, having dinner um, with friends, um, and they always say, like, let your host family know, so I let them know in the morning, and yeah. And then we're going to the welcome drink. Yeah. So that's free like, drinks. we're, yeah, free drinks, and you can meet other people in, like, the EF program. And then maybe gelato. Yeah, hopefully. I haven't had gelato, oh, and I've been here for, like, that's the problem. four or three days or something, so. Guys, this is so aesthetically pleasing. Like the place in itself is beautiful, but like the food is so cool. Uh, it's rice with avocado and chicken, I think. I got black rice with strawberries and cod balls. I don't know how to say that. Interesting, and she got a smoothie, and it looks so good. Gelato. Oh my god. Why did I even just say that? It's so embarrassing. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's really good. We're on a street with, oh, Gucci. Yes. Oh, I thought you passed. Gucci. Strada. <laughs> yeah, so we're at the street and we just passed all the really nice stores, but right in front of me is the beautiful Spanish steps. We are here. <laughs> Almost there. <laughs> Almost, but very pretty view already. <laughs> Guys, we are at the top of the Spanish Steps. This is honestly so beautiful. And the sun's setting, so perfect time. All the lights are coming on over there. It's a really cool view, very high up. So it started raining, so we had to take cover in this like rooftop bar, which was really nice. But we are gonna, yeah, we got kicked out. But <laughs> we um, are gonna go home and I'm gonna take the Metro for the first time because I've been tra With taking us. the tra tram tram the whole time tram the tram um and yeah so i'm gonna figure out this metro thing and the bus situation here we go <laughs> good morning guys it is may 30th and it is my fourth day in rome italy on my third day of the EF International Language Program. And today I have a full schedule of classes and then I actually have my first ever activity. So basically like the school plans um, activities throughout the day. There's like maximum two a day I think and you can just sign up for them. Some of them you have to pay extra for and some of them are free like just like sightseeing stuff. So the one I'm doing today is free. I'm not really 100% sure what it's called so I guess you'll just have to wait to see in the vlog but I know it's like a church so we have to cover our legs, cover our arms and so I'm wearing this red like scarf and I, I knew I would have to cover my arms so 
shout out to my mom she like <laughs> let me borrow this but i'm also wearing another jumpsuit so i could cover my legs without it being too tight like jeans or something like i brought jeans but i really thought it was going to be a lot cooler than it is it's really hot it gets really hot during the day and especially if you're walking everywhere which we do um it gets hot <laughs> so hopefully from now on maybe i'll wear shorts and skirts and stuff like that it's just these jumpers are so comfortable like obviously and you don't have to like think about getting a top or anything like that like it's all one whole outfit so that's really nice but i'm actually gonna straighten my hair for the first day of this trip last night i came home and got straight into the shower i came home like the latest maybe like 10 30 or something like that but that's pretty late because like usually i go to bed at that time and i actually like stayed up like editing and doing work um until like 1 a.m but honestly i'm kind of like thankful i did that because i didn't wake up at all during th the night and that's like the worst thing like that could ever happen because like it's so hard for me to go back to sleep so i'm really happy that didn't happen because i was worried that was gonna happen like every day of this trip and i was like i can't do this <laughs> we're back at the coliseum guys school ended at like what time was it like 3 20 3 20 and now we're on an activity with the EF school and we're going to tour a church and a yeah. basilica. Yes, a basilica. So we're like literally where we were yesterday. We're gonna take the metro to the basilica. So I think it's like an, an hour walk. So yeah, we're not doing that. <laughs> They have four basilica all over Rome. One is San Pietro e Paolo, and the other three are San Paolo Fuori le Mura. Fuori le Mura means outside, outside of the wall. And then we have Santa Maria Maggiore and San Giovanni in Laterano. Actually, inside these four churches, the Italian army, Italian government is no war as no position, as no power. It's Vatican State, okay? Now we are in Italy. Inside, no more. We just got out of the Basilica and it was so pretty. Um, Flavia told us that this was like the most simple one. It was like so intricate, so I don't even know what the other ones look like, but it's really, really pretty. You will find out. Yes. <laughs> Hi, I'm Flavia. I'm the activity manager or EF Rome, but actually new friend of Sonali, amazing girl. And now we are doing an activity in one of the Basilica of the Vatican in Rome, Basilica di San Paolo. Please come to Rome because it's beautiful. Bye bye. I finally get to get my first gelato, so we came to the place that we were here yesterday. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 